Good morning, it's Ashley here. I hope your day is off to a great start. Uh, there's lots of good ahead of you today. So make sure you have that perspective entering your day. Look for the good, be intentional about producing good. Uh, yesterday we talked about don't tire of that goodness and being intentional about it during the season where it's very easy to get discouraged. Um, so be intentional today, reach out, expect that goodness, take hold of that goodness, produce that goodness, do it for yourself, do it for someone else, do it for your family or friends. Um, and the day will be that much better. Today, I want to talk to you quickly. I'm actually returning to my marathon series. Yesterday, I was organizing my blog posts and putting them into categories because I actually didn't do that before. Uh, so it was just kind of like all of my historic blog posts, but now you can search by category. So it's kind of nice. But I was rereading my marathon blog posts uh, from a year ago in two weeks. Um, where my husband and I, uh, this was before we were married, but we decided to train for a marathon in 30 days. I, and I know that sounds really crazy, it was. Um, but I wrote a whole blog series kind of on the journey of that, the training, the actual race, kind of the, the learnings and um, the emotions through that whole journey. So if you're interested in that, go check out my, my blog. You can read it, I think it's about a five part series. But one of them talks specifically about a moment in the race. Um, and it was about 30 kilometers in, so I had 10 kilometers-ish left. And this is where oftentimes runners say you hit a wall. You hit this brick wall where all of a sudden you just feel so depleted in your energy, you've got nothing left. Um, every single step you take just feels like your legs are lead. So this is supposed to be that moment where the race gets hard. And if we want to metaphorically think about life in this way, think about life in that way, that 30 kilometer mark where things are going to get hard. Uh, so here I am at 30 kilometers and, and things are starting to get difficult. I'm trying my best again to, you know, take hold of the good. It's a bright sunny day. I only have 10K left, 30 behind me and I'm running, but it's getting difficult. Um, and all of a sudden, my in-laws actually pull up on the, the part of the street that's still open. So I'm running here and they kind of pull up right here and they roll down the window and they're cheering me on, go Ashley. And just to hear that encouragement, that motivation and to see them right there supporting me in what I was doing, gave me this extra surge of energy. So I kept going and I was running, I was running, I was running. That was enough to get me through another 10 kilometers. So. Now I'm at, let's say, no, let's say it was not eight kilometers, nine kilometers. So now I have about two kilometers left of this race and I am just, you know, at my wits end of like, I want to push myself. I wonder if I'll make my time, but I've got little, very little left. And again, here comes the in-laws on that side of the road that's still open. And not only are they driving by me, cheering me on, but Mark gets out of the car comes over to me and actually runs alongside me until I've got probably 700 meters left. And then he gets back in and meets me at the finish line. But he got out of the car and ran with me and supported me and encouraged and motivated me at that time of my race that was so crucial and so difficult. And I'm sharing this story with you guys today because we're in a time, we're in a season where people are at that point in their race, uh, in their situation, in their circumstance where they not only need you to drive by them and motivate, but they need you to get out of the car, come shoulder to shoulder and journey alongside them and get them there. So those people in your life that you know may need your support today, may need your motivation, your encouragement today, reach out and do that. Whatever that may look like, I encourage you to do that today. Not only will you feel full, but you will help them in their journey, push them on to what's next and help them get to that finish line of their current season, situation, or circumstance, or whatever they may be facing so that they can then push forward to what's next. So I hope that that encourages you in some way, not only drive by encouragement, but get out of the car encouragement. So let's try and uh, put that to work today. All right, hope that encourages you guys. See you tomorrow.